Well, we are studying the King's Domain Kingdomology 101, and we're looking at page number 33, um, and it says, praying the kingdom through affirmations, denials, and scriptures. One effective way to pray to praying the kingdom is through the collective energy of an affirmation, a denial, and a scripture. We affirm by identifying what is. We deny by denouncing that which is not. Finally, we apply scripture to that which is in direct alignment with our prayer. And today, uh, our scripture is um, Proverbs chapter 18 and verse number 21. Again, that's Proverbs 18 and verse number 21. And the scripture says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. And our subject today is in the form of a question, why deny? Yes. Did y'all catch that rhyme this morning? I'm also a poet. Why deny? That is our subject for today. And our scripture is Proverbs 18 and 31. And the question is, why deny? Why is denial a part of our kingdom process of prayer? In kingdom, we pray with scripture which is the enduring truth, the word of God. We pray with an affirmation, that which we do desire, and we also pray with a denial, that which we do not de desire. And so people say, well, why do you need to do denials? Um, let's just do affirmations. Let's just affirm the good that we desire. But if we look at our scripture today, found in Proverbs 18 and 21, which is often a misquoted scripture, the scripture says death and life are in the power of the tongue, not death or life. If you go back and read Proverbs 18 and 21, it says death and life are in the power of the tongue, which means that we need our affirmations and we need our uh, denials. If you look at the order of it, it says death and life, which the denial is the death to that which you do not desire, and affirmation speaks life to that which you do desire. I'm going to say it again. Death, denials are death, killing out that which you do not desire. Those thoughts, those words, those behavior patterns, those belief systems that you're releasing and letting go. Because when you speak death to one thing, you are speaking life to something else. And as you see demonstrated through all of these denials and affirmations, that are on page 33 and 34, you see a combination of the scripture, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You see a denial in my kingdom. Um, there is no hatred, envy, strife, bitterness, malice, jealousy in my kingdom. And then it affirms that my kingdom is a kingdom of love. You need not only an affirmation of what you do desire, but you also need a denial of that which you do not desire. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Even Jesus said, it's not just loosing, but he said binding and loosing. I give you the keys of the kingdom and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So the binding is your denial. Amen. Uh, which means that you are binding anything that you do not desire, anything that's not positive, that's not good, that's not healthy. You are binding it. You are taking away its power. You are bringing it under subjection and you are loosing in your life the good that you do desire. So we have scripture denials and affirmation. We need all of it. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a high five. Give me a heart. Yes, a kingdom prayer, affirmative prayer, scripture, denial, and affirmation. Why deny? Because the scripture says death and life are in the power of the tongue. Why deny? Because Jesus said binding and loosing. He said if whatever you bind on, I'm going to back you up with your denials. Your denials are backed up by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the heavenly host, by the higher consciousness. He said, "I'm whatever you bind on earth is going to be bound in heaven. Whatever you do as a denial on earth, that heaven is backing up your denials as well as heaven is backing up your affirmations. So why do we deny? Because the scripture says death and life are in the power of the tongue. Why do we deny? Because Jesus said binding and loosing. He didn't just say speak life. He said death and life. 
He didn't just say loose what you desire, but he also said bind that which you do not desire. Give me a thumbs up, give me a high five, give me a heart if you're seeing this balance that we are called to in our prayer. It is death and life and the power of the tongue, that which you speak, um, and it is binding and loosing. Give me a thumbs up, give me a high five, give me a heart if you got it. That makes sense to you, that there's not just affirming the good, because many times we are affirming, affirming, and affirming, and we're speaking those things that be not as though they were until they are. And we're wondering why all of this affirmation that we are doing while we're not seeing the manifestation. I'm doing my affirmation, but you will not see the manifestation if you're not doing your denials. That's why I put that in the chat line. Uh, no matter how much affirmation you do, you will not see manifestation unless you're also doing your denials. I'm going to say it one more time. No matter how many affirmations you say, you will not see the manifestation of what you desire unless you're also doing your denials. Why deny? Some people don't even like that word. When I was first introduced to denial, I was like, I don't want to live my life in denial. Why would I do a denial? Well, the denial, what the denial does is that you're not denying its existence. You're denying its power over you. Amen. So you need to use your denials, not just your scriptures, not just your affirmations, but you also need to use your denials. It is a prayer. It is a powerful prayer tool, not just to affirm the good that I do desire, but to release and let go any erroneous idea, any limiting belief, any faulty perception about that which I do not desire or that which is in contradiction to that which I do desire. So why deny? Let's break it down today. Pulley point number one. The reason why we use denials, pulley point number one, is because what denials do is it clears. Pulley point number one, we're doing C's today. We're doing C's today. So all of the points are going to, pulley points are going to be C's. Pulley point number one is clears. What denials do is it clears out of stuff. Amen. I used to be a teacher in a former life. Um, and when I, I hated writing on a dirty chalkboard. I just, I just did not do it. Some people just use the eraser and write over, um, write over stuff. I didn't like that. I like my boards clean. And people who had detention, they had to stay after school and they had to wash, erase my board and wash it. So that when I wrote um, my things on the board every day, and yes, we didn't have PowerPoints and all it. When I was a teacher, and I know I'm dating myself, we used chalkboards. And it wasn't a whiteboard, it was a chalkboard. Give me a thumbs up, give me a high five, give me a heart. If you remember the chalkboard. Give me a thumbs up, a high five, a heart if you ever had to stay at the school and clean the teacher's chalkboard. Hey Amen. So what denials do is they clear the subconscious. Remember we talked about yesterday that you can pull thoughts from the subconscious phase of mind. That's what holds all the past experiences. So when you do a denial, what a denial does is it clears out your subconscious. It causes you to release and let go of the past. Not only to forgive, but also to forget all that is old, all that is worn, all that is obsolete, and that which no longer serves you well. So the reason why we do denials is because like a chalkboard, it not only erases, but it washes your consciousness from all those limitations that are keeping your affirmations from coming into expression. So we erase our consciousness, our subconscious from the past. We wash it, amen, with those denials, and then we can write on the chalkboard, then we can do our affirmation of that which you do desire. So if you're having a challenge with why deny and why do we do denials and why not just affirmations, think about the chalkboard. You got to erase it and wash it and then write on there what it is that you desire. You got a whole lot of stuff going on in your subconscious. Things that people have said to you, people, things that people have told you, you'll never do this, you'll never have that, you'll never be this, you fat, you skinny, you ugly. You too tall, you too light, you too dark, you too short. All these things, you think you all that, that's in your subconscious. So when you start affirming what it is that you desire, all those things that people said, when you start speaking the scripture, the truth, it brings up all the lies. When you speak the scripture, which is the truth, it brings up all the lies. And then you use those denials to erase and release and let go of all that stuff from your past. So pulling point number one, the reason why deny is because it clears, it clears the subconscious from 
from the past. And the more denials you do, the more you clear out your subconscious so that you can write on the chalkboard of your life that which you do desire, that which you do deserve. Amen. So pull it number one. Why deny is because it clears. It clears, it washes, it erases and washes away the subconscious so that you can affirm that which you do desire. Pull it point number two. And I'm looking at my notes because the Holy Spirit just gave me this this morning. Pull it point number two. The reason why we deny is because not only do denials clear, pull it point number two, but denials also close. You know, you have an open door. And what denials do is it closes the door, which means that some of us, we have not closed the door on certain things in our lives. It's still a possibility that we're going to fail. We still got that door open to failure. There's still a possibility that I might die of sickness, pain, disease, discomfort, dysfunction. It's still that that door is cracked. <laughs> it's not closed. It's not locked. It's not shut tight. We still have a reservation in our minds that maybe I'm a relapse. We still have a reservation in our mind that maybe I'm going back to the world. We still have that, that door cracked. We still have that door open that something negative is going to happen to us, that we're waiting on the shoe to drop. We're waiting for the bottom to fall out. And so we got all of these things in our consciousness and we're trying to pray. We're trying to praise God. We're trying to preach. We're trying to prophesy over all of this stuff. But Jesus said, you got to bind some things, bind and loose. You got to give death to some things, death and life and the power of your tongue. Nobody can do your denials for you. You got to do them for yourself. Nobody can quote those scriptures that have the power over your life like you can. You got to speak the word for yourself. You got to use the denials for yourself and you got to affirm it for yourself. I don't care how many people speak over your life, prophesy into your life, over your life, through your life or around your life. You got to do your own work. You got to do your quote your own scriptures about what you're praying about so that you can learn the word. You got to do your own denial because you know what those fears are and those reservations and those hesitations and those beliefs that you've been carrying for years that stand in the way of you experiencing the healing that God has for you, that stand in the way of you experiencing the harmony and the relationships that God has for you, that stand in the way of you experiencing the wealth that God has. You got to do your own work. I love you, Yarla Van said. She said, I'm here to help you do your work. I can't do your work for you. You got to open up your mouth and speak speak the scripture. You must open up your mouth and speak the denial. You must open your mouth and speak your own affirmation. There's power in your tongue. And the Bible says, they that love it shall eat the fruit of. You are eating from your own mouth. You are eating from your own tongue, that which you are speaking or not speaking. So you need the denial to close the door. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a high five. Give me a heart. If you're closing the door on some things today, that that's no longer a part of my thinking. That's no longer a part of my speaking. That's no longer a part of my behavior. What a denial does is it closes the door, shuts it tight that I'm not going back to where God brought me from. I'm not going back to the past. That's not never going to happen to me again. It closes the door on your past. Many of us, the door is still cracked for repeat performances. Somebody say, I close the door. I call the, I do the curtain call. I close the door. I shut it. I put a lock on it. That door is closed for me. That's no longer going to happen in my life. That will not be a repeat performance in my life because I learned the lesson from that situation and I shut the door. I got the blessing out of that situation and I shut the door. What denials do is it helps you to close the door on the past, that which you do no longer desire and that which you no longer deserve. <coughs> and let me tell you, when you close the door, you're not doing it by yourself. Amen. The Bible says the door that God opens, nobody can shut. And the door that God shuts, no one can open. <clears throat> so when you close that door, the power of God, the power of the Holy Spirit is helping that door to stay shut. Completely closed. I let go. Failure is not an option for me. I close that door. 
Poverty is not an option for me. I close that door. Amen. Disease is no longer an option for me. I use my denials to close doors. So pull it point number one. Why deny? Because it clears. It clears up some stuff. It brings clarity. Pull it point number two. Why deny? Because it causes to closes some things. It brings closure. It closes some doors to some negative things. I will never be abandoned again. I will never be neglected again. I will never be abused again. I need you to start prophesying over your own life. I will never be neglected. I will never be abandoned. I will never be abused. I will never be used. That what the denial does is it closes the door. Close the door, open up your own mouth and use the power of your words to close the door on some things that have happened in your past. It is God's will that you prosper. I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. So my soul has prospered. I don't need to repeat that any longer. Pulley point number three, why deny? Why do we do these denials? It's because it cancels. Let me tell you, you got stuff floating in the atmosphere. You know that cancel button on your computer, on your keyboard, that cancel button on your phone? Cancel. You got some things that have been floating around in the atmosphere that people have been saying about you, that you got some negative stuff in your atmosphere, you got some negative stuff in your aura. Let me tell you all something. <laughs> I was preaching one Sunday, I got to tell you this. And I was trying to say aura. And I kept saying Aurora. <laughs> you remember the car, the Aurora? And they let me go through the whole service saying Aurora. And it was Aura. You know, I had the chicken pox. So there's some words that I mispronounced and I didn't get. So if I mispronounce a word, I'm not embarrassed. Correct me. Shout it out. Text me. I will learn it. I will review it. So you got some negative things in your atmosphere. You got some negative things in your aura. You can't let people say stuff and let that stay around floating in that universe. You cannot let people, you don't have to say anything to them. You don't have to fight them. You don't have to give them no back talk. You ain't got to go back and forth. We ain't going back and forth about nothing. We're not going back and forth. I'm not arguing with you. I'm not fighting you. I'm not trying to convince you. But as even as I'm walking away from you, or within my own consciousness, I'm doing the de a denial to cancel what you said. <laughs> Well, you know, everybody got to die from something. Mm -mm, I won't be dying. I, when, I, when my purpose is complete, I will transition. I'm not dying from sickness, pain, or disease. Well, you know, life is a struggle. Mm, cancel. Mm -mm, life is not a struggle for me. Well, you know, every time you turn around, it's always something not for me. It's not always something for me. <laughs> so I cancel that. You got too many people speaking stuff in your ear. You got too much stuff floating around in the atmosphere. So when you're trying to manifest the good desires of your heart, you got all this stuff floating around. You got air pollution. Your atmosphere is polluted by all the negative stuff that people have said and you just didn't say nothing about it. You just let it go. No, open up your mouth and cancel. Denials cancel any negative words that have been spoken in your hearing around you. I, I'm protecting. Y'all think the six feet away was about coronavirus, but you need to form that hedge of protection around you. Hey Amen. In consciousness and say, within six feet of me, there is no negativity. Come on. Within six feet of me, there is no negativity. Within six feet, now that's Instagrammable, that's Snapchatable, that's tweetable, that's Facebookable, that's TikTokable. Within six feet of me, there is no negativity. Why? Because I do my denials. I cancel anything that is not the highest and the best. Anything that is not the divine and the perfect that has been spoken about me, to me, around me. I cancel it. I cancel its power, that it has no power over me, that I create an atmosphere. I create a climate. I create a culture around me of miracles, signs, and wonders, of positive things coming. And if you come with that negative stuff, if you come with that gossip, I cancel it. Any negative stuff, I cancel. You come with gossip, tearing people down, I cancel it. I cannot have that within six feet of me. There is no negativity. Why? Because I use my denials to cancel out anything that is not God's perfect will and plan for my life. Woo! Why deny? Pulley point number one. 
is because it clarifies. What denials do is they bring clarity. Pulley point number two, why deny is because denials bring closure. And pulley point number three, why deny is because denials bring cancellation. It cancels out anything negative. And then you can speak that which is positive. I love you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much for being a part of the daily download. 